Do you know who I am? I'm 37 years old. I've lived in Maryland, Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, but now I'm 1.4 miles southwest of Plato, Missouri. My ancestry is primarily of European descent. I'm 13% African American, 5% Asian, 6% other, and 1% indigenous, and 16% Latino. I graduated from high school and have some college education. Last year I made just over $42,000. Politically, I'm mostly independent, but I have some pretty radical right and left wing ideas as well. Did you guess who I am? I am you, the average American. No one has ever met you, the average American, with 2.6 kids, who is 49% male and 51% female, but together we are 315 million people strong. We are American. Our country is the most diverse country on earth. This is what makes us so unique. But we need to talk. How do 315 million of us talk civilly and with respect? As a country, we are $16.8 trillion in debt. We are number one in prison incarcerations, car thefts, obesity, fast food consumption, hours spent watching television, divorce, teen pregnancy, homicides, and school shootings. Is it any wonder we are also number one in antidepressant consumption? What are we doing? Who's going to fix our country? Are big corporations going to do it? Is the government going to fix this? How much longer before we the people realize there is no one that is going to come to our rescue? Besides ourselves, we the people. We believe every American counts and together as United Americans we can best predict our future by creating it. One of America's greatest fights in order to form this more perfect union has been the right to have a voice. Our technology allows us to communicate through mass texting. This might not be the perfect way, but it will lead us to even more perfect. And more than just voting or polling, we need better alternatives to vote on. We need new innovative ideas and choices that will go beyond the false dilemmas of left and right, right and wrong, red and blue thinking. We can identify third alternatives that no one has yet thought of to solve our nation's ills and challenges. We need to learn to communicate together, outside of the media rancor and disrespectful online posts. Maybe even learn to laugh together. By asking the right questions, we can find our common ground and have respectful dialogues and move our country forward. We believe a vote should be used to begin a conversation, not just to end it. We can build consensus. We are not a political party. We are human beings, equals, citizens of America with cool technology. Our United Americans technology will engage all of us to find new innovative solutions to the problems we face. Every week you can participate, vote, and submit your ideas through texting and then dialogue about the collective results with friends, family, and coworkers in your home community. Will you stand united with us? We need you. America needs you. Now is our watch to ensure that this nation under God shall again have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. There are 56 signatures on the Declaration of Independence. Our bold founding fathers took a chance on the concept of self-governance that would have cost them their all if not successful. The outcome was not known to which they mutually pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. Now is your chance, either to do nothing and hand over even bigger problems to our children and grandchildren, or to join us and be a founding funder of United Americans. We will only be successful with your contribution and participation. Every contribution counts, no matter how large or how small. On July 4th, 1776, those 56 brave men did not know if this idea of the United States would work. Nor do we today know if we are ready to live as United Americans. We believe it's time. There will never be more than 56 signatures on the Declaration of Independence. There will never be another time to add your name to our list of contributors for future generations to recognize you every 4th of July.